That fall's grown, Dev. It's looking well. I think Ruby's fall wants to come through as well, though. Hey up everyone, it's Farmers. Rob and Dave here from Cannon Old Farm. This is only take six. Right, I hope you really enjoyed episode three of Summer on the Farm, where you learnt all about Orchid and Rosie the fall. Orchid's pregnancy Stand. and Rosie's early life have been a roller coaster of emotions. Uh, there's so much at stake when a big horse like this goes into a pregnancy. You want the right result. You want everything to be born perfectly well and without any problems. Um, initially, we were really hopeful. Rosie was born, she was a natural birth. Uh, she appeared big, strong and beautiful. However, uh, she had something called dummy fall syndrome, which stops them suckling, it stops them drinking. Uh, we knew that if we did not get colostrum into her tummy within a few hours, we were gonna lose her. So we rang our vet who contacted Rainbow Equine Hospital. We took her straight there. David took her straight there in the trailer uh, and if we'd not done that, at that moment, we would have lost it. We would have lost this precious, beautiful foal. Uh, they did an amazing job. They managed to coax her into feeding. Um, they, they tied her up with ropes in a dark room and gradually released her. And it was the, gave her the effect of actually being born again. That stimulated her into having a sucking reflex. She filled her tummy with orchids milk and we've never looked back since. So we will be forever grateful to Rosie from uh, Rainbow Equine Hospital at Moulton for saving our foal and for giving us uh, the perfect ending to, uh, to a Shire horse pregnancy and for making our summer. When I see them out at grass enjoying uh, a summer's evening, it makes me heart gladden and I could not be happier. So we will be forever grateful. I've got to say though, Rob, when I dropped her off there, she was flat out. I know. She was laid out there and you know, it, you'd waited so long for that foal and you could see it slipping away, you know, straight in front of you. You could see the worry in Orchid's eyes. You could see the, the concern etched in her body. It was an awful time. I did not think we'd ever see that fall again when we dropped it off. We're so grateful. We're so relieved. We could not be happier. And it, to see her last night on the television enjoying life again was a, was a beautiful moment. We yeah. couldn't be happier. This yeah, fall's we... name was a closely guarded secret. We named it after the vet that saved it and it's a bit of a coincidence, it was my dad's first horse as well. Rosie is doing really well. She's a right handful, I can tell you that now. She's wanting to go and play with her pals, and, uh, but she's got to learn manners. She's got to learn to be a good horse because she's going to the Yorkshire show and hopefully she's not going to disgrace herself, are you? We've been so lucky for all kids' story to turn out this way. Uh, we thought we'd lost Rosie, we thought we were going to end up with the saddest situation for a long time. Uh, but to see them now flourishing, enjoying the summer, ready to go to the Great Yorkshire Show, makes my heart dance with joy. Now don't forget, 8 o'clock, Channel 5, Summer on the Farm, it's on the rest of the week. See you later. Bye bye. bye, -bye.